वन पी एम पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय सुकैना अब्बास फर्स्ट द हेडलाइंस द नेशन इज सेलिब्रेटिंग पाकिस्तान डे टूडे विद नेशनल जील एंड फर्ब Addressing Pakistan Day military parade in Islamabad today, the president emphatically stated that Pakistan will not compromise on its sovereignty. Prime Minister has strongly condemned the heinous attack in Moscow in which 60 people were killed. Five civilians including children were martyred in an Israeli airstrike in Rafah city earlier this morning. And now the news in detail. Nation is celebrating Pakistan Day today with renewed pledge to work hard for progress and stability of the country. The day marks adoption of historic Lahore Resolution on this day in 1940 that provided a framework for realization of the goal of a separate homeland for Muslims of South Asia. The day dawned with 31 gun salute in the federal capital and 21 gun salute in provincial capitals. Special prayers were offered in mosques after fajr prayers for prosperity and solidarity of the country. Radio Pakistan is broadcasting special programs to highlight the significance of the day and pay tribute to the leaders of Pakistan movement. The magnificent and colorful Pakistan Day military parade was held at Chakarpuriya Parade Avenue in Islamabad today with three wings of the armed forces demonstrating their exemplary professionalism and military prowess. The Saudi de- Defense Minister was the guest of honor on the occasion. Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif, the services chiefs and other prominent figures attended the parade. The impressive ceremony kicked off with the flypast of fighter jets of Pakistan Air Force and Pakistan Navy. Newly inducted J-10C in the genus the built JF-17 Thunder, F-16 and Mirage fighter jets as well as AWACs and ATR participated in the flypast. Contingents of Pakistan Army, Navy, Pakistan Air Force, Special Services Group, Frontier Corps, Rangers, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa Police and Gilgit Baltistan Scouts marched past the dais presenting salute to the chief guest and the guest of honor. President Asif Ali Zardari has emphatically stated that Pakistan will not compromise on its sovereignty. Addressing Pakistan Day military parade at Chakarpuriya Parade Ground in Islamabad today, he said, "Pakistan wants good relations with all its neighbors." He, however, said, "Pakistani nation and its armed forces are always ready for defense of the country and to respond to any aggression." Condemning Indian brutalities and human rights violations in illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the president urged international community to ensure the implementation of the UN Security Council resolutions. He reaffirmed Pakistan's commitment to always stand by the Kashmiri people in their just struggle against tyranny. The president also called upon all the political parties to rise above their political interests and work collectively for the country's security and prosperity. expressing solidarity with the Palestinian people Asif Ali Zardari appealed to the international community to take measures to ensure that the killings of innocent Palestinian people including children and women are immediately halted In Russia at least 60 people have been killed after gunmen attacked a packed concert venue on the outskirts of Moscow Russia's Federal Security Service in a statement said more than 100 people were also wounded in the attack. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif has strongly condemned the heinous attack in Moscow last night that resulted in the loss of many precious lives. In a post on his X handle, he extended his heartfelt condolences to families of the victims. He said, "Pakistan stands with Russia at this difficult time." In Gaza, five civilians including children were martyred and several others injured in an Israeli airstrike in north of Rafah city earlier this morning. Medical sources reported that Israeli warplanes bombed a two-story house in the Mirage area. 
Meanwhile, Israeli fighter jets conducted airstrikes at the town of Al Qarara, north of Khan Yunus, and south of Gaza Strip, causing significant damage. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link Radio Pakistan News Official.